Today, I'd like to talk to you about anti-aging and hyperbaric oxygen therapy. I'm Dr. Masha. I'm a naturopathic doctor and I specialize in disease prevention and hyperbaric oxygen therapy. On this channel, you will find videos about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and its application for various diseases. In my previous video, I described the famous Israeli study which looked at the effects of hyperbarics on lifespan and health span, whether hyperbaric oxygen therapy can prolong life and help prevent age-related disease. And they found positive correlation, which meant that hyperbaric oxygen therapy application resulted in biomarkers that help us predict longer life expectancy and lower incidence of age-related disease. So how do we apply all the scientific information into our real life? How do we replicate the effects of the famous study? First, I think we should look at parameters that were used in the study. Let's look at the pressure. They've used two atmospheres. Let's look at the duration of the session, 90 minutes. Let's look at the number of sessions, 60 sessions. Oxygen was used for 20 minutes with five minutes air breaks, and it was delivered through the mask. So if we use the same setting and apply it for real life, we should be getting the same results as shown in the study. What if we use less number of sessions or greater number of sessions or more importantly, what if we use different pressure? Let's say, would 1.3 atmospheres or 1.5 atmospheres give us the same result? The answer is that we don't know. We need more studies that will prove right or prove wrong that 1.3, 1.5, 1.75, or three atmospheres for that matter, can produce similar results. Meanwhile, I suggest that use what you have access to. If you have a chamber that goes to 1.3 and you use it for wellness, continue using it because we know that it brings certain benefits. In my opinion, the beauty of hyperbaric oxygen therapy is that it's an amazing accelerator. So it takes everything that we do and multiply it by a certain number to take it to the next level. And let me explain what I mean. We know from the studies that other interventions have been shown to improve life expectancy as well. Maybe not by as much percentage as hyperbaric oxygen therapy, but still. For example, caloric restriction. Decreasing the amount of calories that we eat by 25% has been shown to increase life expectancy. Physical activity, especially physical activity beyond old age have been shown to promote life expectancy. Social ties, socializing, spending time with family and friends, and also low levels of stress. We can't control stress, of course, but we can control how we perceive stress. And there are certain stress relieving techniques that have been shown to be helpful to keep stress at low level and thus promote life expectancy. So if we do all these wonderful things, which are called foundation of health, eating less, eating nutrient-dense food, engaging in physical activity, being socially active, and also keeping stress at lower levels, and we add hyperbaric oxygen therapy to that, in my opinion, we should be able to get results that will surpass those results that were seen in the famous Israeli study. It's up to us to choose how we live our life and whether we make healthy choices or not. And I hope this video will help you make the right decisions. If you have your own story of using hyperbaric therapy for wellness and anti-aging, please share it in the comment section below. And I hope you like this video. Please give it like so more people can see it and benefit from this information. And if you really like it, subscribe to my channel to receive more videos on hyperbaric oxygen therapy, disease prevention, and longevity.